I'm so happy you're here to share in the genius of my grandfather, Gabriel Voisin. This long overdue celebration of Gabriel Voisin brings together an unprecedented collection spanning the lifetime of this visionary Renaissance man. The vision of Voisin was really the thrust of this exhibit, which is how did he see life in the world? The aeronautical engineer who conquered controlled motorized flight and, to accomplish safe landings, developed the first anti-lock brake system. The architect who pioneered prefabricated housing and almost changed the streets of Paris forever. The automotive engineer who insisted on precision and lightweight aerodynamics in his racing cars, as well as those he created for society's creme de la creme. The exhibition reveals Voisin in his own words and the words of those who admire him. He was a full man in every sense, major part of social life in Paris, and a handsome, uh, well-dressed, uh, stately man that uh, wherever he walked, people knew he was there. So he was kind of a man's man and a lover of beauty all around, from airplanes to automobiles to beautiful women. But the person who knows more about Voisin than anybody in the world is Philippe Mach, who's an engineer himself, a pilot, a race car driver, that then developed many, many uh, engineering masterpieces. But he is like a walking encyclopedia of the history of Voisin. He knew Voisin, he knew Voisin's daughters, raced Voisin's laboratory, and so he has become a close friend and a collaborator on this effort. Inspired by the craftsmanship and elegance of Voisin's laboratoire, collector Philippe Marc built a meticulous replica under the watchful eye of Voisin engineer Henri Bernard. Pour Voisin, quand il y a un problème, au lieu de se demander comment les autres ont fait jusqu'à maintenant, on prend le problème à zéro, on aboutit à une Voisin la boîte. Il ne s'est jamais demandé comment on faisait avant moi. Ce qui donne des choses originales. Il avait toujours des projets, il avait toujours, euh, il avait toujours, ça, toujours avec sa blouse blanche, euh, les, trois, les trois crayons bien affûtés qui sortaient de la... De la de la pochette de la blouse. Il euh, ne faut pas croire que c'était du tout un, un constructeur derrière un, dans un bureau <rire> à l'embris avec des, une, une table de, avec un tapis vert comme Renault ou, ou Citroën qui, jamais descend, qui ne descendait jamais à l'atelier. Lui était à l'atelier en permanence avec sa blouse blanche, sa table à des, son bureau avec sa table à dessin, euh, ar arrivant dans l'atelier, la euh, arrêtant la fabrication d'une euh, aile il avait, dont il avait donné le dessin la veille en disant « Non, non, je me suis trompé, il faut, il faut modifier le, le bas de l'aile ou il faut modifier le, euh, la hauteur de la portière. En » fait, Il était tout le temps sur la brèche, tout le temps sur la brèche. C'est pour ça que ces voitures elles, sont empreintes d'une personnalité que n'ont pas les autres voitures. Had huge influence on the entire period of the 20s and the 30s. So my hunch is that he's got a lot of fans, some who didn't know it until they learned more about him. Fans like Sahara author Clive Cussler and Sahara director Breck Eisner. He and Corbusier were buddies, and when Corbusier needed funding to design or redesign Paris to make it uh, more user-friendly, walkways, gardens, high-rises, couldn't find anybody to fund that effort, and Gabriel Voisin wrote the check and funded Corbusier's early efforts in some of his architectural designs. 
Corbusier, on the other hand, designed houses with turnarounds in the front of the house that were large enough so that a voisin could turn completely around without backing up and trying again. My grandfather was an architect also, as well as many, many other things. He had also had an inflatable hangar. And uh, during the Second World War, he had a Jeep that had a sort of a big fat tire that could blow up in no time at all to take the Jeeps across rivers. Vazon followed his own path, always experimenting, bringing his early kite and maritime influences to aviation. His discoveries in automotive mechanics to powered flight, his ideas for aviation aerodynamics to automotive design, and his use of the sleeve valve engine for quiet motoring. Voisin created the laboratoire as a laboratory on wheels. On est terriblement secoué, on a terriblement chaud aux pieds. Il y a beaucoup de vent, c'est très impressionnant et très amusant. La manifestation d'aujourd'hui est très impressionnante. C'est amusant de voir toutes ces voitures anciennes, mais je trouve que la sienne est vraiment la plus belle et la plus étonnante. He asked me questions in a very polite, very calm, nice way, and then he paid attention to my answers. He was very gentle and very nice with me and also with my sister. We had a special car that he had designed. It had no roof and no doors. It just had the chassis and four chairs, four seats made out of a white and blue wicker, I suppose it is. And uh, we just tooled around the place, went to the beach in that funny little car that he had designed for us. You kind of fast forward to the 50s, post-war, and he completely abandoned elegant, high-cost, luxury automobiles in favor of the common man's car, the B-scooter. From record-breaking race cars to the finest in luxury automobiles, to the car of the future, Voisin was truly ahead of his time. When we took it to Pebble Beach, I mean, I didn't really have expectations beyond saying I'd done my best with uh, Aero Dean, which is one of the great, great Voisin designs. Only nine were made, four or five are left in the world, but they were a marvel of engineering, very avant-garde, and frankly a sedan never wins in Pebble Beach. A four-door car never wins at Pebble Beach. A car that nobody knew the name of never wins at Pebble Beach. And this was a four-door sedan, Voisin, and it won at Pebble Beach and uh, received the Best of Show Award. So that after 27 years of bringing cars, a different one every year for 27 years, uh, kind of the ultimate in the car world was awarded to us uh, with a Voisin. So that experience I will never forget for sure for the rest of my life. The Mullen Automotive Museum has assembled a stunning collection of Voisin art and artifacts. And of course, some of the finest examples of Gabriel Voisin's automobiles ever shown in one place.